All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, hope you're all well. So this video is brought to you in association with the dudes at Keeley Electronics. Done plenty of videos with those guys. They're awesome. They always make great pedals and this is no exception. So what we're looking at today is the brand new Keeley Aria. It's an overdrive and a compressor. The cool thing about this pedal, in my opinion, is that you can change the order of which you have those two effects going. So you can go compressor into overdrive or overdrive into compressor. Uh, it's pretty straightforward layout. On the overdrive side, you've got level, tone, and gain. Then you've got a little flick switch between low and high gain. And then on the compressor side, you've got level, sustain, and blend. So obviously, level is the volume of that compression effect. Sustain being the ratio, so the higher you turn the sustain, the more sustain you'll get. But it will also bring up all the noise floor as well, because if you haven't seen my video on how to use a compressor, it's a Keeley compressor, so it's relevant in this video. I'll put it in the description box below. It explains how compressors work. In any case, you've got sustain and then you've got blend, which is the dry wet signal. So you can choose how much of that uh, compressed tone you want to blend into your dry signal. Uh, you've also got a little tone knob on the front here. I'll do some close-ups. And then of course, you've got the effects order switch in the middle, so you can go between the two. So as I said before, it's a great tool for you guys and your pedal boards because having both an overdrive and a compressor in one box is really handy for many reasons, for things like clean tones, lead tones, um, nice thick saturated rhythm tones. So you can get a lot out of it. It's worth pointing out that if you go overdrive into compressor, it's gonna crush the overdrive signal which may sound a little bit fuzzy. It may sound a little bit germanium fuzz on the attack because depending on where you've got your compressor set, uh, obviously it's crushing the whole signal. So all of those high and low transients and all of that clipping is all being squashed together to give you a really thick saturated lead tone. Fantastic for lead, for sustain and all that kind of stuff and for fast legato runs because it's picking up all the nuances and dynamic in your playing is it's flattening that out. However, it will also pick up a lot of the noise as well of the overdrive, which isn't necessarily a bad thing it's to taste. Um, and as I said, because it's crushing that already clipped, crushed, compressed signal, it's really gonna do that, you know, like when you turn a compressor up really loud on like a kick and you've sidechained it to the bass and it kind of whoosh in and out. Like it's got that effect when you dig in really hard because it wants to crush that initial transient. And when there's overdrive on top, it does it even more so. Generally speaking, I prefer going uh, from a clean laying the overdrive on top, but it really does depend on what you choose to use it for. In any case, it's a great tool. Let's try it out in front of these amplifiers. The amplifiers I'm running today is my VX Kraken running into the Torpedo Studio, and then I'm running the Rev Generator 120 into the Universal Audio Ox box with an ABY on the floor so I can flip between the two. Rev's going into uh, a clean, pretty much a clean, and the Kraken is like a crunch tone. And I'll use two different guitars, ones with single coils, ones with humbuckers. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, got my guitar. I'm using the 61 Custom Shop, but I've also got uh, a PRS SE245. Uh, and this has got the prototype hand-wound British Standard Chapman pickups in it, and it sounds lovely. But in any case, uh, let me show you how it sounds. This is straight into the Rev uh, on a clean. <laughs> Any reverb and delay that you hear is coming from the aux box. I've got an RV500 plugged into the Kraken, which sounds like this. Love the way that sounds. So we've got options. So what, I've, what I'm gonna do is uh, start on the compression side so you can hear the quality of that and then we'll move over to the drive side. I've not heard this pedal yet, so I've no idea what it sounds like, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. Got it set up so you're gonna hear just the compressed signal, blends on full, but the sustain's low down, so you're not gonna hear loads of compression straight away. Levels at halfway, tones just over 12 o'clock. I don't know what I just did, but anyway, let's have a listen. So it's lower in volume because it's it's actually compressing what's there, but you can hear how much longer it's sustained for. Let me just boost the level. So you can hear that again. Here's without. 
began with. That'll sustain for days, and because I've got reverb and delay in there, you're going to hear a bit of that as well. But in any case, uh, it's great because compression is a lot of fun. It's great in lots of music. But in any case, on guitar, it's equally as great. <laughs> just sounds good. Compression on a clean tone with a little bit of harmonic content in there, for me, so rewarding. So immediately rewarding. So we've heard the compression on the clean, let's throw it over to the Kraken. So this is the Kraken on its own. So let's throw the aria in with the uh, compression side. You're gonna hear more gain because it's gonna compress this crunchy tone. So here's without and with. So that's what happens when you compress a crunchy tone, uh, which is essentially what this pedal does on its own. I'm just giving you context using different amps depending on what you guys use. But that's essentially what's going to happen. If you run a uh, driven signal like I've got here and then you compress it on top, you're going to get more gain. So that's essentially simulating what happens when we use the drive side into the compression side. But enough talking about the compression side, let's try the drive. So let's move back to clean. Set on the low gain side currently. So what's interesting is, um, this is the first time I've heard it, it's quite dark and it's obviously aided by the fact this is a single call guitar so it's still quite articulate but it's it's warm sounding, very warm sounding. This is going through the clean. So if I go over to the Kraken real fast, should get pretty gainy. Here comes the Aria Overdrive. So now that we've kind of heard each side individually, sort of breezed over it, it's probably worth just exploring each side. Since we're on the uh, crunch, or the overdrive should I say, let's see what the controls do. So I'm going to go to the GoPro, have a little strum and we'll see what it sounds like.
So having just a quick noodle with it, I have come up with an assumption, this could be wrong, but I think that this overdrive is voiced dark uh, on purpose because when you compress it, it's going to bring out more harmonic content. It's going to bring out more transients, more information, uh, including high end. So that's probably why it's quite a dark sounding overdrive. Um, I mean, to be fair, considering what's fit into the box, I can understand why they've done that. But it would have been nice to have maybe uh, a, a sort of a more flexible EQ section on the overdrive so that when you do compress it, you can still you can darken things off or brighten things up if you want to before compressing. But that's just my opinion. In any case, let's try the high gain. High gain just over 12 o'clock. <laughs> Feels nice, that's a good thing. The response, the feel of it's very nice. Let's throw it over to the crunch on high gain. This should be really intense. This is without, this is with. So I don't know if you could hear that, but it was really, really pushing the top there. And it's it was pushing the front end quite a bit as well onto the Kraken, which is why it started to bottom out on the lower notes. So I guess this just reinforces my original opinion, which is this is suited better for a sort of a clean amp. If you're running any kind of gain in the preamp section of your amplifier, like uh, it's going to give you a different uh, experience to if you're using it with a clean. But I would say suited more for a clean amplifier. Um, so what I'm going to do is throw it back over to low gain side and then let's start blending in some of that compression and then we'll change the order and we'll see what happens. So the next area to cover with the Aria is the internal switching between the compressor and the overdrive and vice versa. So I've set up a compressor, this is how it sounds. So that's the compressor, this is the overdrive on its own. Like I said, it's quite dark. Uh, the tone's over 12 o'clock, uh, but now we're going to go compressor into overdrive. So you're not going to hear the overdrive overload more. You're just going to get more sustain, a bit more noise, but it should be a really nice feel. So here we go. So there you go, as you can hear, it's a low gain sound, but what's interesting is it hasn't really affected the gain structure. All it's done is given me loads more sustain on my guitar because it's sustaining the clean signal, which is why when you hold a chord, it goes for ages. <laughs> Be 
because it's and it's not even mega sustained. I've, you know, if you look at the GoPro, you can see the sustains all the way down. If I turn it up to halfway, there's a noise floor now, as you can hear. But check it out. When I go ahead and ring out a chord, it's going to last for a lot longer. You get the idea. It's it's bringing up the clean signal, which is why you're getting noise floor, but at the same time, it makes things easier to play and it's not really affecting the overdrive. Quickly, let's try out the Kraken. So I'm taking off everything, Kraken. Let's throw it on the drive. Now let's compress that already crunchy signal. This is going to be intense. Firstly, it's not changed that rattle at the top end. It's not compressing anything to do with how the overdrive and the pedal reacts with the amp, but it's giving us tons more sustain and a bit more gain because that's coming from the amp. <laughs> So it's it's intense and it's given me loads of gain, more than I would use, but it's kind of nice because it's just a really easy sound to use, to play, because everything rings out for so long. You got all the sustain you ever need. And I think psychosomatically for a lot of guitarists, when there's a lack of sustain from the rig, it becomes harder, more awkward to play. So that's why people love loads of gain, because it's a compressed sound, there's loads of sustain, it makes things easier. So. I mean, that makes sense. So what I want to try now, go back to the clean, and then we're going to swap the order around. I won't touch the settings, and you'll hear how it changes um, the, the whole character of the overdrive, and it should be a bit more fuzzy overloaded. Then we'll quickly try out some humbuckers. Alrighty, the order has been changed. So again, this is clean with the overdrive. And now let's throw in the compressor, overdrive into compressor, so it's going to crush everything. Notice that it got quieter. Again, we're pulling the high and low transients together. It brings everything down so you can boost everything if you want. Gonna do that, gonna boost the level, gonna boost the drive, gonna boost the blonde. So you can hear it's starting to get that fuzzy germanium thing. If I just quickly throw onto the Kraken, it should be really intense. That's a lot of fun, just saying it. I mean, that tone probably won't be for everybody, but it's a lot of fun to play. It is it is that, germane, it's got like a germanium fuzz kind of attack to it and compression, obviously. Um, but because we're crushing everything, we're crushing the front of the amp, then we're also crushing the overdrive that's going into that compressor. So everything is being melded together to create that kind of intense tone. 
I think the the feeling I'm getting from this pedal is that it's it's a it's a tool. It's another one of those you could put this if you were just a single channel amp player or clean amp player or something. This pedal's perfect for you because um, you can add an extra channel, a bit more gain uh, to do a bit of leady stuff. You can compress your clean to do more articulate finger picked stuff or chicken picking or whatever. And then you can obviously blend the two together in whatever order you want to get saturated leads. Or you could just you know, use a different effect by going overdrive into compressor and crushing everything a bit. So I think if you're a relatively uh, light gain player playing sort of single channel amplifier or even something that isn't really high gain, this pedal will sort you out. Let's try it with humbuckers. All right, so this is my SC245. It's loaded with uh, hand-wound Chapman British Standard pickups. These are prototypes like a PAF set. This is how it sounds. <laughs> Please in the comments section if you know this if you know this lick, write who you think it is. Okay, so that's the sound of the Kraken and the guitar on its own. Let's go uh, compressor first. Sustains pretty high. The blends up, so you're hearing a lot of the uh, compression effect. And here's the level. It's going to be a bit gainier. Should be nice. I mean, it's, yeah, it's good, but this is just the compressor. All it's giving me is loads more sustain. This is without that. And also, just to me, it sounds better going into uh, with the compressor, just for that kind of thing. Anyway, so Kraken, this is the overdrive. Uh, we're on a low gain, so uh, here you go. It doesn't like that very much. That's going into that fuzz territory. I mean, it's just so intense, but it's cool that it's, I mean, I like fuzz, so I quite like that, but it, I get that it's over the top. So uh, let's go to the clean and let's try that again. I mean, the pickups are pushing it a lot more and you're getting a bit of that sustain even on the clean, sorry, compression on the clean. That is the overdrive into the front. So let's combine it with the compressor. Let's change the order. So there is the Keeley Aria. This is a great tool if you play quite a simple setup, something like single channel amp or you know low gain kind of tones, and you want to really embellish on those with this pedal because you know having the compressor to sparkle up those cleans, get a bit more rhythm dynamic and stuff and articulation, and then even if you gun your amp a little bit and get it to break up, putting the compressor in front of that is going to feel really rewarding. But then having the drive as well means that if you run a very mildly broken up tone, you can increase that saturation using the overdrive with the low and the high gain settings. But then when you can combine the two, that's where you get the really silky, long sustained notes that are really, really good for playing lead, soaring lead and stuff. So if you're one of those players that 
Yeah, and I think as well, Strat definitely works better for my ears. And if you're like a Strat player, Tele player, like, you know, quite a light kind of guitar tone, nothing too intense, I think this pedal will really, really suit your pedal board. If you're a progressive metal player and someone of really like high gain sort of tones, probably not so much for you. But anybody that's into the creamy Eric Johnson, Joe Bonamassa kind of expensive, lovely kind of woolly warm sustained tone, uh, this pedal, the Keeley Aria, is going to do that for you. So this video has come out on launch day, so I don't have any retail information for you in terms of price. I'm going to guess around sort of 149, 159, could be wrong, don't take my word for that, but I'll put all the information in the description box below. So yeah, let me know what you think, put it in the comments section, uh, like and subscribe and share to my channel if you want to see more videos. Thank you Keely for sending this across and thank you all for watching, I've been Rabir and I'll see you soon.